It is Take Control Tuesday. So I have Mansa Musa on the phone with me. And Mansa, uh, last month we had to put together what we're going to use for our benefits. We do it a little earlier than most people, but it has begun. And people need to do that and other things. Yeah, you know, let's talk about being intentional with your money. Is your money going to what you want it to what you want to do in life? Or are you spending it without intention? So one of the ways to get the most out of your money is to focus the time necessary to implement the strategies you know that work. Just don't go by doing day-to-day, but let's focus on the things that we know that will work. Mm -hmm. And here's one of the strategies we know that works, and that is to take a money-smart day. Now, what does that mean, right? You could take a personal day, you could take a sick day, all of these things. But you have time available at your job. You should actually take a day off where you just focus on your money tasks that are associated with how you handle your money. For example, take the day and do what I call your money chores. Here are some of the money chores you want to do. You want to look for higher yield savings accounts right now. How much interest are you getting on your savings? Right. It's been a big change in the last few months. Your bank may be paying you less than 1%, but there are just as safe accounts available at 4% or more now. So the next thing you want to do is shop your insurances. Now, we always talk about this. It's something you should do annually. Mm-hmm. Now, we're talking about your health insurance. It's open enrollment time for a lot of people right now. Mm-hmm. We're talking about your homeowner's insurance. We're talking about your renter's insurance, auto insurance, and disability insurance. Yeah. You know, you're more likely to become disabled than you are to die. Now, you certainly should have life insurance. We're not talking about that one. But you need to shop disability insurance and get that in your financial plan. The next thing you need to do on your Money Smart Day is review your tax strategies. Mm. This is an excellent time in the fourth quarter of the year. You may have to make some changes to improve your tax position, either to improve or reduce your amount of refund that you're getting. Yeah. You know, you might want to change your deductions and get that money now rather than waiting till next year. The other thing you want to do is review your savings plan. If you have a job that provides a 401k, are you maxed out in your 401k? There's several tax advantages to doing that. But if your company is matching you, Randy, there is absolutely no reason for you not to be maxing out your 401k to the extent of the match. Yeah, That's free money, right? There was a time when they were matching For every dollar I put in, they'd give me 50 cents. You can't get that return anywhere else. Right. So contribute to your 401k. The other thing you want to do is look for better credit cards. Go to NerdWallet or Credit Karma or one of the sites and search out if there are better credit cards available for you based on what your credit score is. And the final thing, well, there's two more. One is search for potential settlements refunds and unclaimed benefits. There are websites out here like the Federal Trade Commission, FTC.gov, that actually list money that's available that they've won back Hmm. from companies in their enforcement actions. But there are different sites out here. Benefits.gov is one where you can go check and see if there are benefits available to you that you're not accessing. And finally, after you do these things on your Money Smart Day, Randy, reward yourself. You did all these chores that you've been putting off. You got them done. So now go reward yourself, whatever is a reward for you. Some people I know it would be a Tim Hortons trip. (laughs) (laughs) You know me too well. (laughs) (laughs) But the important thing is to know yourself. Yes. And to reward yourself 
or a job well done on your money smart day. That is so important to be able to sit down and get those done. And for more help on your financial well-being, please go to TakeControlTuesday.com. And while you're there, make sure that you like and share all the information so we can help other people. And how do they reach out to you, Mansa? Right. You can sign up for one-to-one coaching and group workshops at HopeDetroit.net. And if you want to talk to me personally, 313-474-0999. Text or phone call will do. Thanks so much, Mansa. Thank you.